Hey Nail Divas, it's Sherry and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be using the Diamond Sculpture Gel from iGel Beauty, which by the way has become like my favorite poly gel. The colors I'll be using are yellow and nude. The yellow is a glow in the dark color and it turns to like a green color when it's glowing. And I cannot wait to get this video going for you so that you can see how well these colors work. As you can see, once again, for like the thousandth time, I have injured my finger, so we're gonna pretend like that Band-Aid is not there. Let's go ahead and get started. So first, I am going to use my iGel Beauty's base coat, and I am going to put this on all of the nails and give that a cure. You want to make sure you use your base coat prior to using poly gel. It does leave a, tick, a st ticky, sticky, tacky layer, which also helps when you're placing your um, poly gel down on your nails. It helps to keep it kind of in place as you're moving it around. So it does help. You want to make sure you use that and give it a cure. Starting off on my thumbnail, I am using the color Nude and I am going to go in and create a French tip nail with this color and with the yellow. I'm going to do this on my thumb, my index finger, and my pinky finger. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to drag this color. As you see, I placed it down closer to the cuticle and I slowly work that color down toward the cuticle but not touching the cuticle. And as I work the color up, I'm going to work it up to the end of my actual nail. And as it gets closer up there, I'm going to start to, to triangle off both sides um, just to give it just a little bit more of an interesting shape. After I cured that, I am wiping off the nail with a lint-free wipe and some alcohol and I'm going to file just to sharpen the edges where I try to point that out. I want it to be a nice sharp point. Now I'm going in with the yellow and I am just going to take this color and work it around the nude color and just smooth and pat that color out as I shape the nail. Now that I am all done with placing the that color, the French, on the thumb, the pinky, and the index finger, 
I am going in on my middle finger and my ring finger and I am going to make an ombre effect. I'm starting with the nude color toward my cuticle and I'm going to work that color up towards the tip of the free edge. And I'm just, as I get closer to the tip of the nail, I'm just going to smooth and thin out that color as much as possible. You wanna thin it out because I'm going to place the yellow from the tip and I'm going to work it back toward the cuticle right over top of that and I want the colors to blend in really well. After curing the first color, I'm going in with the yellow and like I said, I'm just going to blend this right in with the nude. So first I'm going to shape the nail up at the tip and work that color down, smoothing it and thinning it out toward the middle of the nail going closer toward the cuticle. But the closer I go toward the cuticle, the more I'm going to thin this color out so it blends right in. Now that I am done with those steps on all of the nails, I am just going to go in with the eye gels clear and I'm just going to do a thin layer of clear to cap these nails off because when I go in to do my filing and e-filing, I don't want to work away any of the color that I just worked so hard to place down. So I'm going to finish off all of the nails with the clear and I'm going to do my filing and e-filing off camera and I will be right back for some top coat. back in here and I am using my eye gel beauties top coat this is the first time that I'm using this top coat because we all know I am always using my other top coat that's my favorite but today I'm going in with the eye gel beauties top coat and it is actually pretty good as well so I'm going to place that on all of the nails and give that a cure So this is the final Manny. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope to see you back in my next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I hope everyone is having a wonderful and beautiful Friday. Bye!